Hello my gays and weeps. Before getting into the skit, I wanted to let all of you know that all the contacts that I'm wearing in this video are from Wear Color. I have a review on the lenses that they sent me already up on the channel, but if you're interested in checking out some other colored contact lenses, I'll have the link in the description. And you can use the coupon code PIPER for 10% off. Enjoy the skit! And before someone says it in the comments, I know Ashaka doesn't have purple eyes, but um, I'm giving her purple eyes today, so yeah. So first off, thank you for coming here today. I think that just showing up really shows a lot of progress. Right, um, yeah, he kind of needs to be able to talk for this. If we untie his mouth, then he can eat through the ropes. <sighs> okay, no offense, but this is why I thought that Todoroki would be a better guard than you. If Icy Hot is in here, all Deku's gonna do is try to flirt with him. I do not think I want to go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> Ugh, just fix him already! Actually, um, this is gonna be something that takes a lot of time and patience. You can't just wave a magic wand and make all of someone's insecurities and demons go away. We have five minutes tops before a teacher finds out we're holding a villain hostage. Okay, um, but he really needs to be able to talk then. <sighs> Fine. This is kidnapping. No shit. So, um, again, it's very brave of you to be here today. I'm tied to a chair. Fair, um, but I do think that deep down there is part of you that wants to change. No. Okay, um, Bakugo tells me that you used to want to be a hero. Yeah, back when my role model crushed my dreams. This is really hard. It's not my fault I couldn't kidnap a real therapist. How are you the good guys again? I ask myself that question every day. Well, if you wanted to switch over, you're always welcome in the league. As flattering as that offer is, I would rather keep our topic on how your inability to handle your childhood trauma and insecurities has resulted into you becoming a psycho. Really annoying psycho. Don't you still verbally abuse your classmates? We're not here to talk about Bakugo. Well, we're kind of gonna have to at some point since, uh, you know, he bullied me pretty much since the moment of his first meeting and also told me to kill myself several times. Well, you didn't listen. You know, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, but, uh, evil broccoli boy kind of has a point. You are kidding me. Do you want to talk about why you constantly need to destroy others? I think it's mostly a cry for help. Like, he realizes he can't be happy with himself, so he needs to make others feel the same pain. Huh, okay, and how long ago did this start? Oh god, um, well, I mean, he was already in full swing since back in preschool, so... What the fuck? Wow, so that's gotta be deep-rooted. I think it's probably his mom. Like, it hurts to say, but she's got issues. I haven't met her personally. Could you maybe describe that relationship? Is this for actually happening? It's intense. She criticizes him a lot. It would make sense if that was the start to the inferiority complex then. Yeah, that was always my theory. You know, it's sad. I think that deep down, he really does have the capability to be a good person, but he keeps just lashing out in violent ways. I always thought it would get better once he started high school, but the more I look at it, the more it looks like a downward spiral to me. That's it. I'm out. I, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I do not have to listen to this shit. Goodbye. Classic. Lashing out when forced to confront the problem. I feel bad for him. I know, but there's only so much we can do if he refuses to seek out help. Are you gonna untie me? No, I am not. 